guys, it's Monday. Monday is usually admin day, so I'm sitting at the computer, I've got my cup of tea, I have my emails to do and just catching up with a bit of social media as well. So what did you miss last week? At the end of the last vlog, you'll have seen I was baking on a Sunday and that was this cake. This was a four tier cake in a very nice colour scheme. She chose a very nice colour scheme. It was, it's like navy, rose gold, blush and a really deep fuchsia colour. I think we all wish for a nice colour scheme like that, something a bit different and edgy. And then, down the back, they wanted Jurassic Park. Or more importantly, dinosaurs. I have been waiting so long for somebody to book a dinosaur wedding cake and I finally got my wish and not only was it dinosaur themed but I had four tiers to play with as well. So they wanted a volcano in there, I've got a T-Rex and a Velociraptor in the little veil and top hat and we've got the Jurassic Park doors as well at the bottom, or gates shall I say. Now the actual making of this cake was absolutely fine, it all came together perfectly and nothing went wrong, but the delivery was something else. <laughs> So the couple were getting married in Taunton. Now if you're not sure where Taunton is, it is right down near the bottom. And I am up near Manchester. <laughs> so it was a good five hour trip. Now I couldn't deliver this one myself because I already had another wedding cake and a birthday cake booked in. And the logistics of the time with it being five hours there and five hours back, I wouldn't have had time to get everything done. So they were gonna come and collect it. And then they couldn't figure out the collection out so they were gonna send a courier. <laughs> Now this starts ringing alarm bells, I am panicking. The amount of years I've done this as a job, I have never ever found a courier that is reliable enough to actually take a cake. I'm sure all you cake makers watching out there will know what I mean. When we take, like people forget that it's actually cake, it's not concrete, it's still cake on the inside and they are very, very fragile. And couriers are used to just shifting boxes around in the back of their car or in the back of their van, and you can imagine a four-tier wedding cake in one of those boxes, just being shoved in there with everybody else's stuff and moved around as he's doing his deliveries. So I was panicking. Anyway, then they said they were gonna send somebody else for it. So I sent her all the details and said, look, it's four-tier, it's gonna be very tall, it's fully built. <laughs> ready to go. And then I got another email from somebody else saying that they were now collecting the cake and this happened to be the parents of the groom. So they were asking how tall it's going to be to make sure that they could fit it in the car. I was consciously measuring it, trying to, <laughs> trying to make it as small as possible to fit in the car. And they wanted to collect it on at half 12 on a Thursday. Now that's not something I usually do because the cake wasn't needed till Saturday, hence why I was baking it the Sunday before. Now to me, I've baked that too early. I mean, luckily they said it were fine, they've eaten it and said it were absolutely fine, but just as a rule, I usually bake on a Tuesday, but I had to bake on a Sunday to have it ready for Thursday. So I was sat here, I was just pottering around noon that they were arriving at half 12, and then I looked up outside and a sports car pulled up and I'm thinking, Please don't let this be people coming to collect the cake. It's a sports car. <laughs> but it was, it was a nice blue sports car. It's just not ideal for transporting a 42 wedding cake. Anyway, they came in and I said it was on non-slip matting and I said how to keep it level and things like that. And they said they've leveled the back seat, which was perfect. But it was one of those cars with the, where the roof goes down, so. <laughs> So the roof was down and we carried it out and we slowly lowered it into the back seat onto like a, um, a plastic crate that had been levelled up with books so it was level. So the cake was sat on that and then came the time where the roof needed to go back up and we measured it and she said, oh, it, it, the box is 29 inch. And I said, yeah, I thought we had like 33 inch to play with. She said, well... We did until we levelled it and now there's only an inch spare. <laughs> so he grabbed the keys and he was like, let's do it. It'll be fine. Let's do it. And he pressed the button and I'm just sat there watching this. The back of the car open up and the roof slowly moving across. And the groom's mum had her hand over the top of the cake, you know, because obviously when the roof goes up, it's got like ripples until it straightens out. So she's got her hands over this cake. I'm just stood back watching this roof going up. <laughs> Getting closer and closer to that top rose. Honestly, I was expecting it just to see just knock the rose completely off. And it went over with about that much to spare. It just missed the top of the rose. 
<laughs> I have no idea how they did it. They have nerves of steel. There's no way I, would, I could do that in a sports car for five hours. So they were amazing. They got it there in one piece. So well done guys. I could not have done that. <laughs> Absolute nerves of steel. I was still panicking for five hours. Wondering if it got there. But yeah, it got there. It made it to the wedding. And I am just awaiting some pictures of the bride and groom with their cake. Whew, so that was panic over. And the second cake was a 40th birthday cake. Now you will notice there is a little football logo on there. And it's not a secret that I don't do football cakes. But this was an exception. It was for my hairdresser. Plus it was mostly dog themed, so I let it slide. So it's a Newcastle United theme, so that's like the black and white stripes. And then we've got a touch of blue in there as well. And they're absolutely mad about their dog. So the dog is little Pixie the Boxer. So she's poking her head out of a little gift box there on top. And she also likes to chew on football boots. <laughs> so there's a little football boot there on the board as well. Well, that one went on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we delivered this three-tier Harry Potter themed kit. Now, you've probably seen this design before. It's well known on the internet. And it's by Fallon Ray Cakes. As far as I'm aware, she was the original designer it was she made an ivory one with gold and the client wanted exactly the same but in rose gold instead so it's just got the cross ones the deathly hallow symbol and then that famous quote on the bottom always so we delivered that to the moat house in acton trussell i think that's how you say it <laughs> and that was like a two hour trip so it was two hours there, we set up and left and then it took us hours and hours to get home. We were stuck in traffic and it was also Kai's birthday. <laughs> so it was Kai's birthday yesterday. Um, we'd ordered him a bike from Halfords to be built and it was ready to collect actually on his birthday. So we thought, oh, we can pick that up on the way back and everything will be ready. But we got a phone call from Halford saying, I'm really sorry, but the bike you've ordered isn't actually here. So we can't build it. It's out of stock and it's also discontinued. Fabulous. Thank you, Halfords. <laughs> so I was frantically on my phone looking for another bike. The only other place that builds them, I think, is Smith's. I think there's only Smith's and Halford's that offer like a building service. Now I've built bikes before. I've bought all their bikes when they were younger and I've built them all. But the bigger the bikes get, the more annoying they are to build. And they come in loads of different pieces. I was adamant I was not building the bike. I just wanted one already built. But time wasn't on our side. It was actually on his birthday. So we had to go and collect one from Argos. And then we brought it home and then I'm trying to build it. So many different pieces, little spanners. And I was just getting irate with the amount of packaging on it. Everything was wrapped in cardboard and about 60 cable ties. So by the time I'd got all those off, I'd built it. And now the bike is too big. It's exactly the same size as the one he sat on at Smith's. 26 inch wheels. But the back is way too big and he can't reach the floor at all. <laughs> oh... So I'm blaming Halfords. I'm blaming Halfords for this. You let me buy a bike and have it ready for a collection and then told me you didn't actually have it at all. Your fault. So that was a bit of a manic weekend and a manic week. I would like to say I'm going to slow down this week, but it's still just as manic. So today I've got my admin to do and I've got to do some prep for a live video I'm doing on Wednesday. It'll have already been and gone because this vlog doesn't go up until Monday. But Shauna McGreevy has a website called Cakeheads and I'm doing a live tutorial on that on a tree topper. So I need to get everything sorted for that. I need to charge up my iPad and my phone and try and find stands to put them on for the different angles and things. I've also got a birthday cake order this week it's only a single tier so it shouldn't be too bad but i've got to fit that in in between everything else i have a wedding fair coming up the week after which i've got nothing sorted for because the dummies are still as dummies they're still polystyrene blocks with no icing on them whatsoever so i've got that to do and then i'm off to ireland on friday night for the whole weekend because <laughs> i am judging at the new cake show in northern ireland um, i'm going to see how much footage i get of that if i get a lot of footage i'll make that into its own video if I only manage to get a little bit of footage, I'll just pop it on the end of this vlog. So yeah, never been to Ireland before, but it's always a bit manic when you're flying somewhere and you've got to pack all your stuff and make sure you've got all your documents and get everything ready. And then the live and the wedding fair and just lots of stuff. 
So I better get my emails done and I will check back with you in a bit. Morning, it is Tuesday. Tuesday is tutorial day for YouTube and I currently do not have any tutorial ready. So I'm gonna quickly do, I don't know whether to do a model or a face or something. You'll have already seen it because it would have been last week's tutorial for you, but yeah, a bit behind. As you can see, there is the bike in the background that's too big and a huge mess on this side. This is what it usually looks like, full of icing sugar and bits of sugar paste. So I need to clean all that off, film a tutorial, get some prep done for the live video tomorrow. And I've been told it's pancake day today. So yeah, let's get cracking. This is the face of somebody who watched two episodes of Doctor Who instead of one and now I am absolutely knackered today. <laughs> I'm too tired today. I have my live video today at 1pm but we need to set up at dinner time so I've got a couple of hours to kill so I might set my new little tablet up. You listen I opened my tablet yesterday. That's just what I use instead of my, so I'll show you what my old one looks like. So here is my very ancient little tablet. Um, it's a Wacom Bamboo. People who know tablets will know how old this one is. It's actually all faded there where I have my hand. It's all rubbed off and this is the little pen that comes with it. So instead of a mouse you've got a pen um, and you can see the little light changes as it, as it gets closer so that's when you, you can move your cursor around so I'm not actually touching the tablet and I'll show you I can move the cursor around and then you can tap it like so when you tap it tap the tablet like this that's almost the same as like clicking a button on the mouse so you can double tap or tap on things um, I've been using one for years and years so I'm used to this but it, unfortunately this one is that old that the drivers don't work for it and I have to reset the tablet settings every single time I have to turn the computer on so it's about time I got an upgraded one it does go a little haywire now and again so I've got a new one to replace this so let's get that one set up first I'm making a brew this sound easy plug it in download the driver install the driver and restart your computer no nope. no so first what first USB I plugged it into doesn't work asked me to restart the computer I restarted the computer I couldn't recognize the USB said it had malfunctioned plug it into another USB port so I plugged it into the one where my printer usually is asked for the computer to restart I've told it to restart and now I've just got a black screen my old bamboo tablet is just flashing away, that won't work. We have a red light on this one and a completely dead black screen. I know I said I had a few hours to kill. I didn't actually want to use all of the hours. <laughs> I had to pull the entire tower out, plug everything, plug it all back in. It would not restart. Screen was constantly black. Finally got it to work. Um, this seems to be working now. Oh, I am very scared of actually turning the computer off because I don't know if it will come back on again. It's half 11 now so I'm going to get some dinner because I'm sure Sean will be calling soon um, and then we can set all the live stuff up. But oh my lord, what happened to plug and play? iPad has got two cameras, one on the front and one on the back and you're looking at the front one which is facing the roof. <laughs> What, not being able to see you? Oh, you can't see me? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I think you said EA. P, no, P4, P4 Postman Pat. <laughs> and from eBay or Amazon. Um, I think these are about three centimetre or four centimetre balls. Oh. <laughs> 
transfer this back over to the tree now. Ooh, I'll tell you what, it's blooming cold this morning. Temperature is it? Well, high said it's 21 degrees. We're gonna have to higher that to 23, I think. To go and dig my robe out. Can't find mine, so <laughs> I found Adam's in the bedroom, so this is going on until it warms up a little bit. Right, let me prop you up a little bit. My arms are getting tired. Oh, that's better. So yeah, I got on with my live yesterday. That was good fun with Shauna. Hopefully any members of Cake Heads will have already seen that. Um, after that, I got on with filling and ganashing the birthday cake that I've got this week. And I have just today to get it done because I'm off to Ireland tomorrow and it's still in its ganache date. There's no sugar paste on it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in a minute. I might film that for a tutorial if I've got time, so I'm going to need the camera. So I'm just going to have to check back in with you when I've finished, I think. Morning, just got in from the school run. I'm going to have to be really quick because this is being collected at 9 o'clock this morning. Quickly run through what I made. So there's a foam top of there and it is a clueless themed cake. So I've got a little share in her outfit there and some shopping bags and her pen. Finished this last night roughly around about half nine and then I took pictures of it and boxed it and invoiced it. And this is going at nine o'clock this morning so that's boxed up and ready to go. I managed to film it so hopefully that'll be a tutorial tomorrow for you when you watch this. And yes, I feel how I look, thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm absolutely knackered. Oh, I wish I was not so tired all the time. Um, I set off to Ireland today at four o'clock and I haven't done any packing yet. I've got to print my boarding passes out, check what the baggage size is, all that random stuff. So I'm gonna make a brew before this lady arrives and then we'll crack on with the day. Right, that's done. And now I'm gonna have to go out to the shops. I have no makeup left whatsoever, no foundation. And I also have no food to put in my suitcase. So yeah, let's go and get some snacks. That was a nice quick trip for a change. I got some more of these mini cheddar crispy thins in Tedra and Chive because I love them. Not a clue what these are. These are just Dino Bites. So the chocolate cream filled biscuits because these will be for when I'm hungry and this is when my, get, my sugar gets low. And breakfast pop tarts. I can just eat these straight out of the packet um, just in case breakfast isn't open or there's nowhere to get breakfast or because we, we're judging quite early I think so I always have to have at least a backup and then I just picked up some foundation um I tried to pick up the lightest the other this was called light ivory they didn't do one in deathly shade of vampire which, which is probably what I am um incredibly white um I'm hoping this will do So that's me, bath packed mostly. Um, I'm flying with EasyJet and this is the first airline that doesn't allow a handbag. So I'm gonna have to make some room in my suitcase to shove my handbag in and shove all my boarding pass and my passport and stuff in my coat pocket. So yeah, there's only a couple of hours to go until I go to the airport. So I'm gonna sign the vlog here and I will see you on the other side. <laughs> 